Hi, my name is Amy Christian and I work for Dickinson Architects. I'm also a member of Leadership Augusta's class of 2021 and literacy is very important to us, um, our class. We've been raising money for Rise Augusta. So today I wanted to come by and read you a book called Negative Cat and it is by Sophie Blackall. On day 427 of asking for a cat. Cat in the grocery cart. Cat during story time. Meow during bath time. Milk, mom ask. Cat, I ask. Please. Okay, my parents finally give in. But they say, you have to feed it. Also keep your room tidy and clean out the litter and write to your grandma and read for 20 minutes each day. It better not have fleas. Ugh, I'm so not great at reading. Words only make sense when I read them out loud slowly and the kids at school stare and laugh at me but I agree to the rules before my parents change their minds. I'm getting a cat. I'm getting a cat. There are a million cats in the rescue shelter and I want to take them all home, but mom says only one. Then I find him. The name on the cage is Pookie, but that is no name for this cat. This cat is Maximilian Augustus Xavier, and we will call him Max. When we get home, I am excited to show Max his bed and his scratching post and his litter tray and his scent of the sea frisky bits. He is not excited. The next day, I surprise Max with a toy mouse. He is not surprised. I tickle him with a feather. He is not ticklish. I tell him all my best jokes. He doesn't even smile. At school, my friends go on and on about how excellent their cats are. Camilla can wear her cat like a scarf. Jack's cat can fetch a stick. Emilio's cat has its own Instagram. My cat stares at the wall. He's kind of negative, your cat, mom says. On the weekend, dad lets Max have the best parts of the paper. Uncle Dave knits him a sweater. Mom lets him borrow her shoes. In return, Max leaves hairballs on the rug, his tail in the butter, poop in the vestibule, he eats the flowers and deletes my email to grandma. Everyone is mad at Max. He doesn't even purr. I'm calling the shelter. We should have gotten a dog. And then they're mad at me. Your room is a mess. He hasn't been reading. Have you even written to grandma? But I say, I still love you, Max. When the lady from the shelter comes, Max and I hide in my room. The grown-ups talk on and on. Blah, 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 commitment. Blah, 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 responsibility. Blah, 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 negative. I have an idea. It's our only hope. I tidy my room in record time. I reach for a book. I take a deep breath. I begin to read slowly, out loud, the only way I know how. Max stares, but he doesn't laugh. I turn the page. Max inches closer and closer and closer. He tucks his head under my arm. I stay perfectly still and read and read right to the very end of the book. The lady from the shelter says Max and I should come and read to all the cats to cheer them up. It's a lot of cats 
in the shelter. So we do. Now my whole class comes every Tuesday and we all read out loud, fast or slow, however we like. The cats are happy, the lady at the shelter is happy, and the parents are happy. Sort of. Because all the kids now want a cat. Can we get a cat? Can we please get a cat? The end. Thank you for listening to Negative Cat by Sophie Blackall with me. My name is Amy Christian. Bye.